but again, you know, you're more than welcome to fight how you see fit. It's just easier this way, in my opinion. And it's like I said earlier, it's me controlling the intake of damage that my units receive. What are you waiting for? She's just a child, a girl. Get more men up here now. See? So we're gonna do this guy and go attack. At least Lorena is pretty lucky and she dodges pretty often, so that's that's cool. Now Lin's going to be attacked by this archer, like there's no getting around it. But she should be able to kill him, no problem. Ooh, that was close. I'm glad I didn't move her any closer. <laughs> that would actually have been pretty bad. I mean, we'll be able to finish off both of these units anyway, so I might as well. <sighs> That's the only downside of playing these games, it's just disappointing crap like that. Like, it's such a letdown when you see your units, like, squander their potential by getting terrible high rolls. Now the way this game's RNG works is like each character has a percent to grow each stat. So like uh, I'd have to look it up, but like for example, like we'll say like Florina, I think like she has a 70% chance to raise her speed or something close to that. What the RNG does in this game is it rolls a die for one, so like one to 49, and then from 50 to 99. And if you roll anything below, so like, let's say you roll a 69, then her speed will increase. That's what that means. You have to roll a number that's less than um, the percentage of the stat. So like, I think Lin has a strength growth of maybe, it's either 40 or 50. So that means that in order for her strength to have gone up, I would have needed to roll a 39 or a 49 there. I forget I forget what it is exactly, but that's all that means in terms of random number generator. 12 damage. So he's going to break the wall on this turn, or on, on his next turn, so I need to send this guy out here. Normally I would like to send him to talk to Natalie, but because I blundered and attacked that wall, I kind of am not able to do that now. That's the only problem with Sane is like, he just can't get the job done. Like, he hits hard, but like, hitting hard one time is just not gonna do it in this game. It's like, unfortunate, like, you know, like, Kent has just, ooh, 4% chance of crit, nice. Um, Kent just gets the job done more often than not just because of his speed, you know? So it doesn't matter how strong you are. If you only hit one time, it's still only one time. Okay, this is a really good spot to put Farina for her to level up and stuff. Ooh, that is really nice. You were actually being pleasantly surprising with your level up, Serena. I approve. Very nice indeed. I, I, I don't even tend to use Pegasus Knights very often, but if they're good, you know, a good unit is a good unit, so might as well put her to use. And the only problem with fighting mercs is that they're, like, naturally speedy units, so you aren't going to... Oh my god, he doubled the unit. It's a miracle. Um, you're not actually going to hit them twice very often, if at all. Hey, that's that's okay. 
That's alright. <laughs> For saying that's alright. Speed is, is okay, in my opinion. Sword break? No, he's just not faster than him. Well, that's a first. Nine, six. Oh, this one only has two speeds. Same king. Mm. Thirteen, six. So you'll do six. It's eh, if he get hits. If he gets hit twice, it'll kill him. Ooh, I don't want that. So what I'm going to do instead is have him go right here and kill this guy. Seventeen. What I'm gonna do is move Cat here in the forest. And on turn, you know, the next turn, I'll have her move in front of the boss and she should finish him, like... I attacked this other guy with more HP because that second swordsman is going to attack her anyway. Which means I'll actually get one more kill off of these guys than I normally would have. Nice. I haven't had any 90% misses yet, which has happened. Good. So this is Dorcas, by the way. He's a fighter. Fighters usually have really high strength and HP, and that's about it. Maybe a little bit of skill, but like overall, they're really slow axe users. They don't hit very often, but they hit really hard. So, it's a toss-up, and when you change their classes, they get the ability to wield bows. I'm not big on fighters, I'm more of a pirate slash berserker kind of guy, because you have so many units that can wield bows already, that like, having an extra one that wields a bow that hits slightly harder and doesn't hit very often, it makes no difference, in my opinion, for something like that. So it's like, you know, I... Having a Berserker who crits very often and hits like a truck, sign me up, you know. That's my philosophy for that, or that's my way of thinking for, for that. So it's turn six, which means I'm going to go ahead and move in here. Even though I, like, I have a 12% chance of being hit, like the odds are in my favor for it to not happen. But, it being me, it's going to happen, so I'd rather it not happen. I know what he's at. And maybe we might have enough time to have him go talk to his wife after all, but we'll will over here. Now... Those mercs should kill themselves on me, so I'll be able to get two kills off of this. Nice. Sorry, or how? Why are they so tough? You bring me more men right away. See, not bad at all. Nice, and we got three merc kills, or three or two. I don't remember exactly how many we had, but enough for another level. 
Ooh, hoo, hoo. You're turning out to be quite the prize. God, I love seeing good level ups. It just sucks that it's on a unit that isn't as useful as my other units. Like, I know I give a lot of shit to Pegasus Knights, but like, they're, they're really good for transporting other units, you know. And that's about it. Natalie, is it you? Natalie, are you alright? What were you thinking coming out all this way? I was worried about you. Please don't let my leg trouble you anymore. You must have put yourself in such danger. Please. I'm sorry. I must have been out of my head. I didn't realize that girl Lynn made- I didn't realize. That girl Lynn made me open my eyes. Lynn just brought you here? I'll explain later. We've got to drive back these bandits first. Listen, stay put. Don't move from here. Alright. As long as something or other, I'll be safe or whatever. I mean, you know, typical, <laughs> typical dialogue. So now, we can take one- this bandit with us before we finish this chapter. So, let's see if Zane can get the job done. Yeah, try to orchestrate it in such a way that I get as much experience as I can out of this chapter by defeating as many units or at least attacking as many units as I can. That's so nice that she can like two hit these guys. But time to finish this. And you don't normally have to kill him, you can just turtle the entire time if you wanted to. See look at that, 12% chance. Like that's why I'm so glad that I just <laughs> that I don't take risks because it'll happen it'll happen <laughs> all right then and we're done very nice we killed every single one of them curses they're not human listen up rogues retreat pull back the enemies fled. Map, we've won. Dorcas. I'm so sorry, Natalie. All's well that ends well, right, Natalie? Our village is close. I'll take Natalie home and return tomorrow. Hmm? Why can't we just say a farewell today? Well, I I spoke with Matt. You, he didn't, by the way. I don't remember him talking to me at all. I've been invited to join your group. But we're going to Lycia. I have to go somewhere to earn money. If you think I'll be of use, I'd like to fight for you. You've helped my wife. I owe you. Dorcas. Please, Lynn, we are both in agreement on this. Watch over my husband. With your body. Things have finally calmed down. We'll continue taking turns keeping watch. Please rest easily. Is that alright? Are you sure, Sane? Are you sure, Sane? Oh, uh, yes, of course. Let me warn you. If bandits sneak up on you, they'll cut, they'll cut you down without mercy. Do you understand that? What, do you doubt my bravery? Am I not a knight? There's no need to worry. Right, Kent? If there's anything, if there's anything suspicious, we'll take care of it. Rest assured. Really? Well, good night then. See you tomorrow, man. Let's go. Ha, huh, no one ever trusts me. Alright, I think I'm, that'll do it for right now. I mean, my voice needs a break, and I need to make that phone call. I missed a phone call during the stream, so I'm gonna have to call that person back. But, uh, thanks for watching. I'm gonna upload this to YouTube, too, so that, you know, I'll have multiple ways of getting seen. But, uh, thanks for those of you who came out to hang out and, and spend time with me. Uh, we'll definitely be playing some more Fire Emblem tomorrow, maybe later today if I feel like it, but probably more tomorrow. Like, I'm gonna try to do, like, maybe five chapters a day, depending on my mood, so, uh, yeah, thanks again, and I'll see you guys later. Prismacam signing out.